Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous video we started with string expression as a replacement of concatenate string operation. So we understood this particular part then we covered the advantages of this particular string expression as a replacement of concatenate. Now what we will do, we will start with the practical part. So we will go for comparison. Firstly, I will show you concatenate. Then I will show you string expression. Then again, I will go for concatenate and I will show you the string expression. So we will go for two to three scenarios and we will cover by both. We'll go for concatenate also. We will go for string expression also. So now I will go to SC38 transaction code and I will create a program. Suppose I am saying ZPRG new syntax. Suppose now I will write string expression. I will give the title to the program. I will click on to create button. Okay, I'll just make it shorten. I gave the bigger name. Okay, string expression. We'll go for EXP. I will go for create. I will give the title. Demo on string expressions. I will choose the type as executable program. I will save this program as a local object. We'll start with very basic, basic example. Suppose I want to combine the strings. So suppose I will simply, simply go for concatenate first. Suppose how you are using concatenate to combine the strings. So we are using concatenate. Suppose our first string value is welcome. So I will write welcome in single quotes. Suppose my second string value is 2. I will write in single quotes. Suppose my third string value is home. So welcome to home. I am concatenating. Suppose I am concatenating into a variable. Suppose I am writing lv underscore out. And you all know you can end a line through dot. I will declare this variable. LV underscore output. Type. Suppose I am writing C. Suppose character. Specify the length. Suppose if I will say welcome to home. Okay. So it will can accommodate in 20. So I am just combining these three strings. Having the values. Welcome to home. As of now, I'm not using variables. I'm directly concatenating. So I will simply go for write statement. As of now, I did the explicit data declaration. Once we will go for this string expression, we'll go for inline data declaration also. I will check the syntax and I will activate. So firstly, you are, you are combining the strings by using concatenate. If I will run, you can see we have the output welcome to home. If you want to give a separator, suppose space, dot, comma, how we are giving? We need to use the keyword separated by. Suppose if I want to give space, I can use this space. Suppose if I want to give hash, I can use hash. So you need to give the separator after separated by. Suppose I will go for space first. Suppose. You can give space like this also. It is totally your wish how you want to give. Suppose I will give space. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now I will run this program. And you can see we have the we have the output 
welcome to home and we have the separator space. Suppose if you want to give a different separator, you can give, suppose I will go for hash. I will activate. And now if I will run this, you can see we have welcome to home. Now suppose if I want to do same to same thing using string expression, how I will do. So I will simply comment this. Now I will go for save. Suppose I will go for inline data declaration. So I will go for data. What is your output variable? LV underscore output. Now we covered in the previous video. Whenever you want to go for string expression, you need to use the pipe symbol. Suppose I will go for pipe symbol. I will go for pipe symbol. And in between this, we need to pass the string which we want to concatenate. So I will simply, simply write welcome to home. As of now, I am not giving any space. And now I will simply, simply do this. Now, whatever you are writing into this pipe symbol, starting pipe symbol and ending pipe symbol, it will display as it is. Now, if I will write this, write LV underscore output. I will check the syntax and I will activate. If I will show you the output, you can see we have welcome to home. Suppose if I want to give the separator, here you need to use the keyword separated by now the here is nothing, space, space. Whatever you want to display, just write it as it is in between this pipe symbol, starting pipe symbol and ending pipe symbol. If I will activate, if I will run, you can see welcome to home. Suppose if I want to give hash, so I will simply write hash. Just see, we are getting the output in an efficient manner. We are writing the code in an efficient manner. If I will run this, you can see we have the same to same output. Now, this is the first advantage also we covered. There is no need to use separated by. And we have not used any separated by. Now, we will go for next point. Now, many times people, now people will think, why you are using directly the values. Just show us with the help of variables. And we covered that also. If you are going for variables, it must be enclosed between the brackets. So firstly, I will show you through concatenate. Then same to same thing, we will see through string expression. So I will comment this part. Now I will go for three variables. First variable has the value welcome, second two and third home. And then we will go for combining the variables. Variables has the values. Now I will declare four variables. Data, LV underscore input one. Suppose length is 10. Type C. Now I am assigning the value. Suppose I will give welcome. You can assign the value by using equal to also. Suppose if you do not want to go by this way. You can go this also. Like this also. LV underscore input 1 is equal to welcome. You can go like this also. It is totally your wish. Suppose now I will go for second variable. LV underscore input to. I will go for third variable. LV underscore input three. Now I will assign the values. Input to input three. Now I will write two. Now here I will write home. 
welcome to home now firstly i will show you through concatenate so i will write concatenate what is first variable lv underscore input one lv underscore input two lv underscore input three now into what is final variable suppose lv underscore out i will declare this also now if you want to give some separator you can simply write separated by space now we will simply write lv underscore out i will check the syntax and I will activate. Now we are not directly assigned, directly combining the values. We have taken the variables, variables has the values and we are using or we are applying concatenate on the variables which has the values. Now if I will show you the result, you can see we have the output. Now same to same thing. Now I will show you through string expression. We will not go for concatenate. We will simply use the string expression. Now I will simply commenting this. Now I will go for three variables and I will show you inline declaration also. Suppose I am going for first variable. LV underscore input one. What is the value? Well. So in the same line itself, we are declaring also, we are using also. Now I will go for second. Control D to duplicate a line. LV underscore input 2. What is the value? 2. Now I will go for input 3. And what is the value? 4. Now, now how I will combine this? So what is the result? You are getting the result in LV underscore output. We'll go for inline data declaration. So I will use data is equal to. You always has to use pipe symbol at the starting and at the end. Now, now we are not using the values. Whenever you use the values, like you are simply passed into the pipe symbol. Now we have the variables. So variables must be enclosed in curly brackets. So now I will use the curly brackets. Curly bracket. Now it is compulsory to put the space. Suppose if I am not giving space. I am writing LB underscore input 1. I am closing this bracket. Suppose I am again going for opening bracket, LV underscore input to, I am closing this bracket. I am writing LV, I am going for opening curly bracket, LV underscore input 3, I am closing this bracket. Now you can see we have a red dot at the last. It means we have the error. So how we will resolve? We will give space. Space there must be a space between the curly brackets and the variable. Now you can see there is no error. Now I will simply go for write statement. Write LV underscore output. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now if I will run this, you can see we have same to same. Now, if you want to give space, there is no need to use separated by. Just give space. Just give space. I'll just go for activate. This is the main, main advantage is our task is getting easier. Most efficient way of writing the code. You can see welcome to me. If you want to suppose give hash, simply give hash. Hash. Just activate. Now, if I will run, you can see. 
So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you two demos, one with concatenate, then table expression, concatenate, table expression. So firstly, what we did, I showed you simple, if we have the string values, how we are using concatenate to combine the strings. If I want to give the separator, we are using separated by. Then same to same thing I explained through string expression. In the pipe symbol, open pipe symbol and ending pipe symbol, I gave the string value whatever I want to display. The best part is there is no need to use separated by which you are using in concatenate. Just give the space, give the hash, dot, comma, whatever you want to display, it will display as it is. Now, in the next example, rather than directly taking the strings value, we have taken the variables. Variables has the values. So, firstly, I showed you through concatenate. Then, I showed you same to same thing through string expression. The best part which we studied is the variables must be enclosed in curly brackets. There must be a space between the variable and the curly bracket. So we covered this important advantage. We covered all this part. We have seen the practical of pipe symbol, curly bracket space. Now in the next video, we will see the practical of this point that based upon this particular string expressions, if you are using, there is no need of type casting and that is an important advantage and it will be covered in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.